Every Saturday at 9 in the morning, it became a routine for me and my mom to go grocery shopping. Before we go, we usually apply sunscreen to protect ourselves from the heat that really penetrates in our skin. With the climate change dilemma that we are going through right now, we can only do so much. That's why my family is very particular with skin protection. I've been using sunscreen for as long as I can remember, and it is safe to say that I've seen them evolve from the sticky to lightweight finish. And I realize that nanotechnology helps enhance these products to attain its current feature by making use of nanoparticles to increase the effectivity of the sunscreen in blocking UV radiation. In the store, as we select from the rows of food products in the shelves, I've noticed how most companies have shifted to biodegradable packaging. This was possible with the help of nanotechnology that enhances the food wrapping barrier, which also resists the heat. These features allowed for an improved biodegradability in this new type of packaging. Nanotechnology is among those things which I thought to be insignificant until I did my research. But First, let me share something about myself. I am a motorcycle enthusiast and I love the feeling of driving with my motorcycle with the wind passing to my body. And every time I ride a motorcycle, I always wear a helmet for protection in case of an accident. Now, what's the connection of this in nanotechnology? Here's what. I found out that nanotechnology is used in making my motorcycle helmet materials for it to be lightweight, stiff, durable, and resilient. Nanotechnology has enabled the development of next generation helmet materials that are stronger, lighter, and more durable than the materials used in the previous generation. When I found that out, I became a fan of nanotechnology. Accordingly, nanotechnology researchers in the microprocessor industry have made certain improvements in the nanoscale structure, thereby increasing the density of transistors in microprocessors. Being in a technologically advanced age provides higher potential to increase accessibility, optimize technical responsiveness, and achieve greater heights of innovation. In my personal experience, I formerly had a laptop which featured an Intel Pentium computer processor and my biggest worry with it was that I frequently experienced lagging, especially when large amount of files and data were stored. The one that I use now has an Intel Core i5 computer processor and although it's not the most recent of its sort, it does give improved specification allowing me to do tasks for my online schooling. Better features allows humans to utilize this electronics with ease and in accordance with our demands, particularly during this pandemic period, we're learning and workplaces had gone virtual.